So this is a weird angle because I have you like on the counter in the kitchen. But so I am plan I'm going on vacation and <clears throat> I was gonna film this earlier, but I didn't because uh, I just got so busy and then was too lazy. Oh, was attractive. So I have been losing weight. I've lost about 25 pounds this year. Um and I plan on being healthy at Disney World. So that doesn't mean that I plan on like depriving myself or anything. And oh, Murphy, be careful. Little oh, Murphy cameo. Hi, Murphy. If I'm in the kitchen, he needs to like be on the counter because he thinks I'm gonna give him canned food. Even though I gave him a whole can yesterday. Got a whole can yesterday. Doesn't like to be held. <laughs> We're working on it. Anyways, <laughs> so. I want to try to be healthy at Disney World and what my plan is is that I have kind of outlined my days and the week to the best of my ability so um, I am doing a program program um, it's called fit and fat so I don't do the paid version I will leave a link down below to her website um, and her podcast if I can figure out how to link a podcast Oh, which I know you can do. I just don't know how to do it. Um, I found her podcast. It's called Losing 100 Pounds of Fit and Fat. She does have a paid program, but it's a little too expensive for me, just the monthly charge. Um, but she does a ton of free stuff. And so she doesn't count calories. She doesn't um, do anything like that. It's all about eating intuitively and really working on like your mental work with stuff and building like a plan for what you're going to do and sticking to that plan. And so... When I had first started this, I did go to Nova Scotia, and I did not gain weight in Nova Scotia, which was awesome, but it was also a little easier because we rented a house and went to the grocery store, so some of my meals I was able to make at home, and I was able to, like, really fill them out really well, whereas I don't really have that opportunity in Disney World, and honestly, even if I did, I don't think I would, um... <clears throat> So we'll see. And I am, we are only going to the Christmas party and we're not doing the parks any other time just because we think they'll be crazy. So I do feel like I won't get as many steps as I would normally get, which might counteract some eating, although there's only so much working out you can do to counteract what you put in your mouth. So I've made a plan and I do plan on enjoying myself. Like I plan on eating cookies at the Christmas party. Um, I plan on having a hot chocolate like tonight. We're going to the boardwalk. I'm filming this the day I leave by the way and If my parents decide that they want to go to Ample Hills and I'm hungry then I plan on getting either a small ice cream or splitting a flight with them so It's just stuff like that and like I've decided like I'm not gonna do bread service if there's any meals with bread service and like it with the exception of hoopty doo so at hoopty doo i love their cornbread so my plan is i've written out i can have two pieces of cornbread which is perfectly fine that is enough cornbread and honey butter um and like there i don't actually eat a lot of the food at hoopty doo review because i don't like it so like there i'm gonna try and make sure that i eat a good amount of salad and um I'm gonna try to eat some chicken for the protein and I'll just like take off the skin part. Um, I don't really like fried chicken. Um, and like I do plan on having strawberry shortcake, but I'm gonna be smart and I'm gonna make sure I get my water. So I've decided, I my goal is 64 ounces at home, but I'm gonna go for 80 down there because it's supposed to be in the 60s and the 70s, but I still wanna be like extra careful just in case plus I'm sure I'll be eating more salty foods and I just think it's smart to have like an idea so the other thing that I planned is my goal is to get at least 10,000 steps a day which may be completely achievable I do not know um but and if it is I might change that like if the first couple days I'm like killing it I might change that goal to something higher um to stretch uh, every day to do a little bit of working out which I mean like very little I just want to make sure I'm moving my body so um, I had like written it out it's like squats and um, or well like sumo squats basically I don't do regular squats they hurt my knees 
um, doing like arm circles like just really easy like four or five moves that are no bod like they're all body weight easy to do I might try to do a morning yoga if I can find one um, just because I think it would be fun <sighs> is there anything else you know, eat when I'm hungry, stop when I'm full, just try to be smart and think about this and continue to journal my food and continue to write down how I feel about things. And I'm really excited about this challenge and I think it'll be fun. Um, so actually, since I'm filming this right now, I will, I plan on like kind of filming and talking about this a little bit throughout the trip and doing another video next week for you guys. Um, so it's the morning, it's like 1030 and I don't leave my parents are picking me up at 1 30 so I definitely can eat breakfast I can probably eat lunch depending on how hungry I am and um then I just won't have I did pack some trail mix in case I get hungry and like I feel like I won't make it really to the airport because sometimes I get a little shaky hungry and I don't ever want to push it <laughs> with that because I have passed out before not from a sugar issue it's a salt issue but still so my plan is to have my normal weekday breakfast and that is a protein smoothie because just because you're going on vacation does not mean you can go crazy um, on vacation or before vacation so I'm gonna have my smoothie it's nothing special I do I do regular skim milk I like they don't even call it skim milk anymore they call it fat free milk uh it's always skim milk to me though <laughs> so um I do drink regular milk I've done this with almond milk before I just almond milk is really expensive and I don't eat a lot of protein based foods so because I don't like meat generally so having I know now you can get almond milk with protein um which is good so I like that this has some added protein whereas like almond milk you still only have one gram of protein so I do about eight ounces of this milk um, and like I said, yeah, I don't eat, drink skim milk because it's fat free. Um, it's literally like what I was raised on and I can't even have like 1% milk. I'm like a diva. So then I do this protein powder. It's vegan. It's called plant fusion. And actually I should check this. Okay, no, it's fine. I do these protein waffles and they have palm oil in them. And I've just heard like a lot of things about how palm oil is harvested. And so I'm a little sad about it. But my protein powder does not have any. So this is chocolate. And um, I do half a scoop. Uh, mostly because this stuff is expensive. Like this is a small one and it cost me like 20 bucks. I didn't realize it was a small one. I bought it off Amazon because my local grocery store didn't have it anymore. Um, the big one is like 30 and like this is 15 servings. So if I do half a scoop, plus I have the milk. So one serving is, where's the protein? 20 grams. So it's like 10 grams, but I get eight with that. Um, and then I, in the last couple months have been adding a chia seeds, which this has five grams of protein. Well, whatever a serving is, which is two teaspoons. And I put half a tablespoon in just cause that's the thing I had to put in here um and I like this for the fat and it has omega threes, which I don't need fish or anything so that's good and I found that putting this in and having like some fat in my breakfast was really helping me stay full longer and then I pre-make these and freeze them it's half a banana um like three ish frozen strawberries and then I make these cubes and I do spinach or kale. Um, this one happens to be like a greens mix. I think it was spinach, kale, and um, chard. <clears throat> so I just like blend those up in some water and freeze them just to get some like extra added greens in my diet. Mm. <sighs> Gotta take the trash out. It smells like cat food. So then a blendy blend and the cat is watching me. He's like, are you gonna feed me? No, you had a can of food yesterday, fatty. Actually, he's kind of, I feel like he's kind of scrawny. Okay. And normally I take it with me to work in like a little reusable cup 
thing. Um, this is weird. I haven't had one of these at home in forever. I like never use cups or anything. <laughs> Um, should I use a real cup or a baby? Ugh. So then I take it off and I will drink it. And that's it enough. So I'll come back and finish it if I'm still hungry. Um, and then I'll wash that before I leave. And then if I do have lunch here and I'm like hungry for it, uh, I have a salad. Um, I just have like a mixed greens. I have some cheese for some fat and some onions. Normally I have tomatoes but I didn't get any this week. Um, and then I use whole fat ranch because as Corinne from Fit and Fat says, if she did not get fat from eating some ranch on her salad. No. You got fat from dipping like your french fries in your ranch and your pizza in your ranch and everything in your ranch. <laughs> so full fat ranch is fine. And I think fat free and low fat ranch is disgusting. And they just put like so much sugar in it and it's just, And then I will throw one of these on there. It's a corn soy free and meatless chicken patty. Oh, I didn't realize this was soy free. I thought they did have soy. I wonder if these are different than the ones I used to buy. Anyways, so for a little bit of protein and I like these. They taste good and the texture is good. And they take like a minute to cook in the microwave. Um, and the soy thing, by the way, I don't have a problem with soy, but, and I don't have a thyroid condition as far as I know. I don't think I do. Sometimes I get a little tired, but I feel like it's an iron issue, not a, a thyroid issue. But, um, a woman I follow on YouTube, her name's Katherine Morgan. She's a ballet dancer. She's a formal princi former principal with the New York City Ballet. And she had to leave because she had a thyroid condition. Um, and she said that apparently soy can interrupt your um, like thyroid hormone absorption. So like she would be eating like soy because it's good for you. And even when she was on thyroid medication, <clears throat> the thyroid medication wasn't working and that was why. And apparently there's other foods too like strawberries <laughs> and stuff. So I don't avoid soy but... It's like, well, just in case, maybe like if you do have a thyroid. So if you do have a thyroid issue, you can check that out. So anyways, this is my long, it turned into a really rambly um, introduction to this adventure of going to Disney World and attempting to be healthy. Um, I say healthy because I feel like healthy people think like, oh, I'm only going to have salad and stuff. And that's not the case. Um, but what my plan is, like my game plan and I'm really excited for this challenge. And my goal, by the way, is to not gain weight. So my plan is to maintain. I don't want to lose weight. Uh, and I weighed 217.8. And I feel no shame in saying that. Um, I know a lot of people don't like to say, like, how much they weigh. I don't really care. And I'm, like, 5'5", five five, if you want to know. Like, if you ever see, like, a long shot of me and you just want to know. Um, I carry my weight very evenly. Uh... <clears throat> which is a blessing and a curse, I guess. Um, so I will weigh myself. We come back, it's Thursday the 20th, and we come back Wednesday the 26th, and I don't like to weigh myself at night. I'm a morning wear, so I will weigh myself on the 27th, I just bit my tongue, the morning of the 27th and see um, what happened. We shall see. So let me just have this and then get around because I've got stuff to do. Gotta take the Murphy cat to grandma's.